obviously I talk about a lot of Nintendo games on this channel. You know, I'm hyped for Emio, Famicom Detective Club, The Smiling Man. You know, I'm hyped for The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. I'm hyped for Mario and Luigi Brothership. I'm hyped for Dragon Quest Three. I'm hyped for everything else that's coming out in the future, right? Uh, there are a lot of games I've been talking about a lot on this channel. And what happens every single time I talk about the popular new Zelda trailer or the new Nintendo Direct or major upcoming Nintendo Switch releases like The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Super Mario Bros. Wonder, you have some slack-jawed, ignorant, low-IQ mongoloid coming into the comment section and typing in, oh, I, nobody's talking about that, you know, in a video where I'm talking about the game that th these people are saying nobody is talking about. <laughs> like, like it's kind of amusing if you really think about it, because they do this thing where, like, oh, like, there are 40,000 people playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now on Steam. I bet there are more people playing every generation of Pokemon right now than that, <laughs> you know? like not even including like the spin-off games and like the general, like you can't calculate how many people are playing Nintendo games, right? We have no idea. Like I won't sit here and tell you that like Tears of the Kingdom has like a million players playing at once because you know that'd be kind of dumb, right? Again, this is just a cope, right? The player count thing and just ranting incessantly about like ah oh, nobody cares about that it's it's ignorant it's stupid it's completely off base and it needs to stop honestly like again how dare i be excited for zelda how dare i excited be be excited for Mario and Luigi. How dare I be excited for Unicorn Overlord or Princess Peach Showtime or Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble or Emio Right? You know, how many people got angry when Emio was revealed? You know, like, why has this been allowed to get so bad? You know, how has The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, you know, the second highest selling Zelda game ever made, how has that been written off as a game that nobody is talking about when I've been talking about it uh, nonstop for the past year? You know, when I've been talking about the follow up? you know, since it came out. You know, how is the game that won the most game awards, the, you know, this huge hit, you know, the most critically acclaimed game on Metacritic, you know, the, you know, the follow-up to one of the best games ever made, Breath of the Wild. How exactly is that a game that's not talked about? You know, it is the most delusional, off-base, like, insane thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, it is appalling just how desperately people want this to be true. Like, oh, nobody nobody talks about Nintendo games. Like, we just sit here and, and speculate on the new FromSlot product. Like, we're, we're, we're all we're sitting, doing here is sitting is uh, getting ready for uh, Shadows of the Earth Tree. We're so hyped for that. Oh, we'll just sit here and endlessly speculate on how good that game is going to be instead of, you know, playing all the other good games that come out. Right, again, I've said this before, but it really does feel as if, like, the online gaming community in no way reflects the reality of what is being played and talked about, right? It is just a bunch of incel nerds sitting on sitting on forums trying to trick you into thinking that, like, uh, you know, Zelda isn't selling well or that, like, the Switch is on the way out and that, like, the PS5 is selling is selling units right like I, again the gaming community is completely out of touch with reality and in a lot of ways it always has been and uh it's it's weird to me to see like so many of like the great nintendo switch games you know uh just get written off for like very paltry ridiculous reasons Right, you know, ARMS on Nintendo Switch being, like, a really good example. Like, how many people will, like, try and, and sit there and try to tell you it was a bomb, right? Like, like you know, how many people, like, complain about Splatoon 3 or Nintendo Switch Sports or, like, uh, you know, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, 
right? Like, I don't even know why people hate Wonder. They just do because it's a 2D platformer Mario game, right? Uh, again, I, I don't think the people who complain about this stuff are in any way capable of rationally kind of like discussing just what makes these games are good or bad. You know, Mario Wonder is a 2D platformer, so it's bad, right? Uh, again, New Super Mario Bros. was treated the same way, right? Like, all the cope you see online about how it bored people because of how it was bland and boring was just a cope, right? The real reason is that, like, it couldn't it couldn't be a, uh, they couldn't allow a 2D platformer to be known as one of the most highly successful games on the Nintendo DS at the time, right? They couldn't, like, acknowledge how popular New Super Mario Bros. Wii was, right? They had to write all this stuff off and, like, try, and now there's this narrative that these are the most poorly made Mario games ever, when in reality, they're classics in their own right. Again, there is no, there is no real analysis. It's shallow, surface-level copes made in order to push a narrative. And that's all this is, right? When I look at, like, uh, how good the upcoming Nintendo Switch lineup actually is for the remainder of the, remainder of the year, like, I can clearly see just how good everything is, just how well-made everything is, just how much, like, Nintendo is innovated, just how much they're delivering, just, like, how how all of their games should be able to appeal to a wide range of uh, different people. But to see so many people sit here and try in vain to convince people that, like, nobody cares about Famicom Detective Club, nobody wants to play a Zelda, nobody's excited for a new Mario and Luigi, like, nobody wants a new Mario Party. Like, again, it is just a brain-dead coke. I would not be surprised if Mario Party is actually one of the best selling titles of the year, actually. But uh, that being said, that being said, I am very, very tired of just the the copes and the justifications as to why gaming YouTubers and like the gaming community at large like do not want to acknowledge Nintendo's success story. Right, right now, what I'm seeing is a lot of people coming out trying to say that like the next Nintendo console is going to be somehow is going to somehow be a failure, and how Nintendo's never going to be never going to be able to recover from it. And it's just it's just pointless doom posting, right? They desperately want it to happen. Uh, you know, I'm I'm always seeing like uh, the censorship community go after Nintendo localizations and conveniently ignoring PlayStation and Xbox ones. You know, I I constantly see people like uh make excuses for the declining quality in other games but while like railing on uh you know absolute bangers like zelda like again it it was really tiring for the past couple of years like seeing people seriously act as if like elden ring or baldur's gate 3 had any hope of ever like challenging nintendo right like those games are have already been forgotten and yet like i'm still sitting here telling you that like yeah pokemon legends arceus great game 10 out of 10 game you know uh you know kirby in the forgotten land amazing game right and again these are games that were written off by the masses i no longer care what the online gaming community says you know i don't care what they're talking about it is by no means any measure of quality content. I simply do not care what people have to say about Nintendo products.